Jason from Ottawa Craze. Nice, nice day in February 2023. Doing a salvage rebuild title 2020 uh, Kia Telluride SX V6, 40 some thousand miles. Just got done doing an inspection, looking under it, going under the hood, checking out the wheels, pinch welds, floor pans, and so on and so forth. My uh, assistant here, the guy selling the car, we did a tape measure, a wheel measurement, uh, center cap to center cap, and in a rough field measurement scenario we're coming up with, I think it was 114, 114 and a quarter, center cap to center cap, pretty consistent side to side, took several measurements and took photos of that for the prospective buyer. And so the measurements are nice. The uh, Really there's not much to report about the exterior body. There's a small door ding on uh, this side that I picked up. The car's kind of dirty and so it was difficult to see exactly uh, what's what. Uh, the digital uh, paint meter was friendly. Uh, we had good readings from uh, three and a half to five or six mils. This side showing a little bit more uh, paint. We get up to the front door and this is probably that's 5.1. Some blending started happening here and now we're at 9. And now we're at 13. And back to 8. They changed this fender. It was a front hit. Uh, this this uh, passenger side front frame rail is pretty nice. The right frame rail was pulled and uh, repaired. I did not see where it was sectioned. It's going to be hard to see it here. Yeah, there's a shield. The shield is still torn, by the way. They reused the shield. Torn on both sides, but it could be uh, glued back together. I'm told the parts are expensive. I didn't see any active leaking coming out of the transmission or the engine. Our brake rotors are original and are showing their they're showing their age. Brakes were not done. We're gonna we're gonna drive it down the road here. Just went through all the internal options. Would you pull the hood release for me? Thanks. I'll pause this for a second. Uh, so underneath the hood, uh, the coolant is up to snuff. The uh, engine oil is fairly clean. It's a little bit low, three quarters of a quart low. I got a pretty good view at this frame rail from the top, and really no major catastrophe there. There's a very slight uh, buckle right there. I'll zoom in on it. And uh, for all I know, that angle should be there to work its way around that. Uh, the uh, mount there for the shock tower, but the rest of the rail uh, looks good. No real uh, issues there. On this side, uh, the frame rail has some black uh, paint on it. You can see where there was a buckle right here, and this rail was likely heated up and pulled. And there's where the uh, there's where the uh, there's where the um, the pinch weld looks clean along this edge right here, right? So you can see some repair work done in here. It's hard to get a good view at it, uh, but it's definitely been that's been repaired. Looking at the uh, lines, they're uh, pretty appropriate. Door line looks like it closes nicely. Centered up good. And wrapping around to this side, uh, slightly, if any, wider on the passenger gap. But uh, good alignment at the top. Put sitting back just an eighth of an inch. Nothing to be too alarmed about. So overall, the fit and finish of the front end uh, looks pretty nice. We're going to get in and drive it. Got the... Uh, dual sunroofs and both of them work. We ran them back and forth.
driver's door pads in really nice shape. The unit's actually really, really clean. Um, take that screen back down. No real heavy wear, seat bolster entry wear here. It looks really nice. This would be obviously where the heaviest wear would be showing. Carpets are clean. The unit smells good inside. The hood cable release works just like it should. Uh, passenger seat is nice and clean. So are the carpets, so are the floor mats. Everything, uh, sorry I should turn that so it's a little easier to see. Everything along the console and on the uh, armrest and center, all very nice. Headliner's in good shape. Airbag was replaced in the steering column? Yeah, it's yeah. Is that the only one? And the knee, the knee airbag. Back seats uh, fold forward to give you access to the third seat. Those are working. I didn't go through every small adjustment in detail, but the carpets are in nice shape. Door panels, uh, headliner, all appears to be in good condition. Back compartment looks nice as well. Uh, it powers up and raises and lowers as it should. Uh, this power seat, I did t uh, test the functions. I, uh, I'll run around and test the turn signals and brake lights. Go ahead, you want to help me? Yep, headlights are on right now. Kind of hard to see, but they're on. Headlights? Yeah, there we go. Yep. Power mirrors uh, tested out good on both sides. A little condensation on the right bank. On the tail. Looking good. Brake lights. Put it in reverse. Yep. So all the lights are functioning properly. So again, nothing really, no ills to report uh, on the interior components, dash, seats, carpets, etc. Everything looks uh, very nice. Alright, we're going to take it for a ride. Alright, we're going to take off. We've got a, a view button down here on the console, and when we push that button, I'm pushing it now, it's got a panoramic view all the way around. Um, that beeping that went off when I walked behind the car and in front of it, is that because of the, the front, sensors? front sensors. Yeah. And when you were in the rear, the rear sensors were going off. Yep, I heard it. I heard it. Okay, cool. And then uh, this is the auto hold button, which basically makes it stop and or, I'm sorry this button is the auto hold which makes it uh, shut off the lights and or not yeah. yep it's, if you want to turn off auto stop yeah the drive mode it's on eco right now okay okay uh, the cooled seats are working on both uh, sides and the heated seats are working we tested those out earlier Power mirrors have been tested out. Power windows have all been tested out. And uh, we'll, we'll take it for a short drive here and make sure everything is hunky-dory. Also note that the car has a built-in wireless charger. Charge the phone and this, this light will turn on, I think. Maybe. There we go, boom. Nice. All right, here we go. Pretty cool. No subscription and still telling you what the weather is. jam on it a little bit here let's
Yeah, the freeway it looks like a parking lot down there. I'd go around that ring and just come back like we did when I came here. Yeah, I'll give us some speed. Yeah. Roll your window up tight, will you? So and then we... whenever you change the signals, the control signal the camera turns on too. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'll tell Thanks. You tighten your window up over there? There we go. I'll do the same circle after we're done here if you got time. Yeah. Sounds good. Is this where we just went a second ago? Yeah, you want to go again? Yeah, we'll just let's just switch real quick. Let me pause. All right, from the driver's seat vantage point, turn right here. Shifting out around four grand. Hands off the wheel at I don't know fifty fifty five. Yeah, holds the road nice. Two tires are new. Two tires are pretty uh, pretty well worn. Wear bars are close to the top on the fronts. The back tires, uh, they look like they're brand new. I like that cooled seat feature. It's probably the warmest February day on record. I'll take it. Yeah. stopped up there on the freeway. Yeah, handles very, very good. Quick brake stop. No pulling left or right. Downshifting. Pretty nice. Okay, we'll pause the camera and get back to the shop here. Okay, back to the lot. This sounds good. Gonna, uh, put it in deep. He's going to walk around the car for me. I'm going to put it in drive. And uh, he's going to walk. And there's the sensors going off. Yeah. Uh, he's going to walk to the back. I'll put it in reverse. And there we go. Very cool. And upon putting it into reverse, the mirrors tilt down to show you where you're backing up to. Seems to be functioning properly. It would uh, take a week to learn all the features on this car, but it's got a green zone as you're backing up. I'm backing up right now. Getting closer to the building and it gives us to the yellow zone. Very nice, very nice. Well, overall, I would give the uh, car high ratings. The only way to inspect it any further would be up on a hoist and tear off the lower shields and kind of get a better job, do a better job examining that rail that was straightened out. Um, the key is the wheelbase is pretty pretty darn good for a field measurement, 114 or 114 and a quarter, and uh, it seems, seems like it's not an issue. So, drives down the road nice. I didn't get to check the cruise and every single option on this, um, but we checked the majority of the options, we being me, and the majority of options are working. The air conditioning is not blowing cold. Doesn't look like they recharged it. Looks like it's got a new condenser in there, but uh, there's no cold air coming out. So fan 
motor is working and these controls all appear to be working but um, that's it uh, worthy of mention is that I went around all the wheel lip edges and the, again the wheels are they're dirty right now but I can't really see any obvious major curb scuffing nothing really to be uh, concerned about uh, these tires again the wear bars they're coming up they're uh, there's not a whole bunch left there enough for a while these tires look like uh, brand new all the wheels uh, though look like they're in great shape a quick custom field measurement I invented it myself the uh, three and four finger field measurement I'm coming in at the bottom of the molding here I'm getting four fingers in and uh, as I slide in they tighten up right about when I get to my knuckles over on the driver's side looks like I got the wheel pretty straight right and coming in here and uh, I got a little more space I'm more freely getting in there so if there's an extra if, if we're short a quarter it's on the passenger side or if we're ahead a quarter it's on the driver's side Jason from Auto Appraise finishing up a rebuilt title salvage car inspection rebuild down in Detroit, Michigan. If you need inspection service, 800-301-3886. Thanks for hanging out. This video is going straight to the guy who's bidding on this car right now on eBay. By the time you see it, this car will probably be sold because I really don't see a reason to, uh, to tell him to run the other way. All right, thanks a lot.